Hi guys, welcome to my movie fan channel. My name is Tyler. Today's review is going to be for the new release Coming to America, the sequel to Eddie Murphy's original comedy Coming to America, starring him and Arsenio Hall. This movie has the two of them returning, with James Earl Jones returning as well, and then a bunch of new people joining the cast, some familiar faces. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe and the little notification bell that way you get alerts when I post a new video. And also share this video around all your friends and family on Facebook, Twitter, and all the different social media outlets that really helps out the channel. I'm a huge fan of the original Coming to America. And this movie, surprisingly, was a sequel that delivered. I laughed a lot and had a lot of fun. So Eddie Murphy's character, Akeem, is still the prince. Jane Girl Jones is alive for a little bit in this movie, and then he drops out relatively soon. But the story is that Akeem doesn't have a male heir. He has three daughters. But he finds out from his father, from Arsenio Hall's character, that while he was in America, he had a illegitimate kid or bastard kid um, who was a male. So he does have a male heir, which is important because he has an invading country pending, led by Wesley Snipes, who says if he does not produce a male heir, or doesn't have a male heir, that he's weak and they're going to come in and take over. I loved all the new characters in this. Leslie Jones, Tracy Morgan, Wesley Snipes, they were all super funny. They just had like, you know, the sticky kind of character that we've come to see in a lot of these Eddie Murphy movies and Coming to America was really the start where he played all the different characters and they all had these quirks to them. Akeem's son and the eldest daughter were really good. I thought the story revolved around them more. I wish that the two younger daughters got more to do. They just got kind of reaction shots of them shaking their head in the background or disapproval or like little funny things. They didn't get to talk or do much. I guess the story didn't call for that, but they were really just there in the background. I wish that they had involved them more. All the returning characters definitely got their chance to shine. They had little moments and little scenes where they were highlighted, like the barbershop guys, the creepy old preacher guy, um, sexual chocolate, the band and stuff. Um, that was awesome. And they had little gags throughout the movie which I enjoyed. I like how the barbershop guys would always talk about boxing and they would talk about the boxers of the time. So Cassius Clay and Joe Lewis were like back in the day and then they're like, what about that new kid, Mike Tyson? So that was in the 80s and they were talking about know, the boxing from their era and then the current stuff. And then now they're talking about Conor McGregor and Mayweather and Pacquiao, which I thought was cool because I'm a big fight fan. I like boxing and mostly UFC, so... I thought that was really cool that they mentioned that and referenced kind of newer stuff, but it felt very similar to the vibe and they were true to the characters that they were in the first and the original movie. I know I'm not the only one that's going to say I got a Wakanda vibe out of some of the scenes in this movie. Yes, they're in Africa and a lot of the sprawling landscape kind of look like that. And they're also a very wealthy country in Africa, but they had the costumes that were dead on from Black Panther. So I don't know if they had the same costume designer uh, I didn't check that in the credits or on IMDb or anything. I think you could definitely see the inspiration that they took in the costuming, especially of some of the younger people. They also did a good job blending it with the costuming from the first Coming to America, where like some of the older people would dress more Coming to America-like, and some of the younger people had a little bit more Black Panther-style attire. So I liked that they kept the dynamic of the first Coming to America movie, where it was kind of a love story, him finding true love, but it was also a story about family, family dynamics, and, and what it means to be a family, and what's important with traditions, and, you know, family overcoming those traditions, and being more important than what has always been done. And this movie made me laugh a couple times, which is all you can really ask for. It wasn't the funniest movie ever, but it definitely had some good gags. I wish they kind of let Eddie Murphy a little bit more loose on this one, but his character wasn't the protagonist. It was passed on to his son and, like I said, the oldest daughter, um, who were kind of the two main protagonists. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Hit subscribe, like I said in the beginning, and the thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next review.